Nikki Barra. Um, I work at Lachlan Table. I'm here at Franklin Wine and Spirits for the Nashville Scene Virtual Cocktail Experience. And I'm here to show you how to make a California Sunset Cocktail at home. So what you will need for this cocktail is some Reposado tequila, Aperol, some lime juice, pineapple juice, ginger beer, and some Angostura bitters. Something to shake with, <laughs> uh, something to measure with, ice, and hopefully a tall Collins or water glass, whatever you have at home. So, for this drink, you are going to do an ounce and a half of tequila. You will do a half ounce of Aperol. Oh, you'll spill it like I just did. <laughs> Get a little more. <laughs> a half ounce of lime juice. And then an ounce of pineapple juice. Now for these elements, you will uh, be dry shaking this drink, so that means no ice in it. So you'll put the lid on, and I would say shake this for about 10, 15 seconds. And if for any reason I have spoken too fast or you forgot some of these measurements, the Nashville scene will have the ingredients posted alongside these videos. So just tune in and uh, check it out. <laughs> Here comes the fun pretty part. All right, you're going to strain this into your glass. Make sure you get all the stuff out of your shaker. And then you're going to fill this glass about three quarters with ice. Or full. <laughs> Put your straw in and then take the ginger beer and I would say fill just kind of about half an ounce of that. And then you're going to go crazy with this Angostura bitters. And this is what's gonna give you that nice, beautiful sunset look, this Angostura bitters float. I would top just a little bit more with ginger beer. Tiny bit more ice. This drink also looks very beautiful if you use crushed ice at home. And then garnish with an orange wheel. And there you go, the California sunset.